E, and I'm, I can't possibly stress this enough, ha. Howdy folks, it's Tejo the Hunting Gear Guy, and this is the Ruger Wrangler 22LR. It's a single action, old timey cowboy pistol. Um, it's uh, fairly inexpensive. These things are right around $250. They're Cerakoted, uh, they're inexpensive and uh, fantastic. So before I get too far, I'm just gonna show clear on this pistol just to show that uh, I'm not playing with a loaded one. And you can see that there's no rounds in there. So we're good to take a closer look at this thing. Now personally, what I really like about this pistol, it looks so good for the price for $250. I have some other $250 pistols. They're Norinkos, they're from China. They don't look very good. The machining on them is pretty bad. This looks great. It looks fantastic. Just a very simple style. It does take the uh, Ruger, I think, single six uh, grips if you want to change out the grips for like something fancy. And they come in a ton of different colors because this is just a coat. They come in like a silver, they come in this bronze, they come in purple and all sorts of other weird colors as well. Um, and uh, they look fantastic. Really for the price, I think you're getting a ton of pistol here. Uh, these are single action. So what that means is every time you cock the hammer, it's gonna rotate the cylinders. These actually have a transfer bar in here for a safety. So if you pull the trigger and the hammer falls, it'll hit that little transfer bar and it'll hit the pin just like that. Uh, whereas if it accidentally goes off and you're not holding the trigger, that transfer bar will actually move out of the way. And because the hammer itself has a little recess on there right there, it will not hit the firing pin if your finger's not on the trigger. It'll just safely hit down. So pretty safe little gun. Um, and it, it's also safe to carry uh, loaded because that uh, hammer is not resting on a firing pin. It's just kind of captured around it, uh, if you could say. And the transfer bar is not there anyways, so who cares? Safe. Now in terms of shooting and loading this thing, um, shooting, fun, loading, unloading, mm. authentic, I guess is what you could say about it, <laughs> uh, to unload this thing. You're gonna flip this gate open, uh, push it so that the uh, uh, cylinder is there, and, uh, oh, sorry, a little bit high on the, uh, on, on there. And you just eject the cases out using this push rod here. Uh, to load them in, you just pop them in one at a time out the back there, lock that guy up, push it to the next click, and you're you're good to go. Sights are fixed. There are no adjustments on them, just a simple blade on the front and kind of a gutter out the back there so you can kind of aim down there and put it in there, and I guess that's how it works. In the manual, this says that it is dry fire safe, so you saw me show that this is empty. Uh, the trigger press on this thing is right around four pounds, but it's very crisp. Mm, single actions, gotta love the single actions for their trigger press, and it's not a double action. If it was a double, I could press this and the hammer would do something, so you have to cock the hammer every time. Uh, can you fan it? Yes. Yes, you can, you can fan this, this uh, pistol and, uh, and it will work. I think I got some video of that as well. Speaking of video, why don't we take this thing to the range? So as you can see there, fun little pistol to shoot, uh, fun to take to the range. Who would use one of these things? I would say this is a really good pistol to bring. If you bring people to the range often, having something like this is fantastic. It's single action, uh, it's fairly safe. You just need to make sure that um, really little kids may have problems like cocking the hammer. Um, and that trigger is pretty light uh, in between, but uh, like 10 year olds and that kind of thing will have no problem with this. Um, and uh, it's pretty safe because they can just fire the one shot and then that's it, they, they have to recock it. So it's nice and slow. Uh, in terms of safety, it's very safe as well. If you've got this loading gate open, can't do anything with the hammer. So that's safe there. Um, and uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can't really put it in an unsafe condition, which, uh, which is very nice. Now there is some disassembly you can do, but I just don't see a point. I think the only thing you'd want to do is potentially take the cylinder out so you can clean it properly. So to do that, you'd flip this little loading gate open and then you would press this button right here and then pull out this rod. That's holding the cylinder on. 
and then the cylinder comes out the right hand side, just like that. So now if you really wanted to, and you had like so a lot of lead deposits or something like that, you could scrub them off the cylinder here. It's a lot easier to clean this out uh, like this. And it's easier to clean the barrel when you got this much room as well. So uh, you could scrub that barrel, get the lead out of there. 22 is pretty leady and pretty crappy. So you'd probably need to give it a clean once in a while. And you could just brush off some of these surfaces as well back here. To put it back in, we make sure we get the, uh, the one with the notches in it, that's going to the back. And then we just, pop it in there, close our gate. And then to put that pin in, we're still gonna have to push that button, right? So I'm gonna push it from this side and then I'm gonna just push that in there. I'm gonna wiggle the cylinder back and forth until I find where it should be, right there. And then to function test, I would just make sure it's moving, make sure that that pin's stuck in there, it's not gonna come out. And if I was really on it, I might check that uh, ejector rod as well and make sure that it's working. So overall, super fun pistol to use. Uh, lots of fun at the range. Lots of kids like this. Lots of adults like this thing. It's just everyone wants to try the single uh, action pistol and uh, it's a lot of fun. 250 bucks, I'd say get one. Just based on the price and the uh, the quality. Like the, the, the materials that this thing uses isn't, uh, they're not amazing. It's good enough for a 22 pistol. It looks great. It feels good in the hand and uh, the price is right. I would get one. Thanks for watching.